This mobile laboratory is at the front lines of Sierra Leone's fight against Ebola. Its creators hope that quicker test results will help control the epidemic and save lives. When we receive the specimens, uh, we uh, can issue the results within uh, three to five hours. So obviously the diagnostic process is significantly shortened. And obviously that helps the doctors on the ground, but also epidemiologists and infections uh, control uh, managers uh, to uh, better control the outbreak. The World Health Organization warned Thursday that Ebola could infect more than 20,000 people. This lab has been open for just a few days and is already testing dozens of specimens each day. And it's dangerous work. The WHO shut a different laboratory in Sierra Leone earlier this week after a Senegalese epidemiologist was infected. We obviously have to dress in a personal protective equipment that includes um, Tyvek uh, suits, uh, surgical gowns, but we also using battery operated um, respirators and we use the full mask um, to protect our eyes, to protect our mouth and to protect you know, any uh, mucous surfaces. We also use the double glove system. According to the United States Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, as of Thursday, there were more than a thousand suspected and confirmed cases of Ebola in Sierra Leone alone, with over 400 suspected and confirmed deaths. And the WHO estimates it will take another six to nine months to halt the Ebola epidemic in West Africa. Clementine Logan, CCTV.